reaction to Linus Olmert's song? Yeah, well, definitely a good day, and uh, um, I think it's, you know, of course, well deserved for the career he's had so far, and I think uh, he's just kind of created that spark for our team, and so I'm really excited, to, um, you know, for him, his family, and. Uh, um, now just to get going this year, it's uh, definitely some great news going into it. Like he's been the top of your conversation this camp. I'm just curious what it's like to have someone of his caliber now for you guys. He's the confidence that he wants to have. Definitely, you know, confident and, and uh, yeah. um, you know, he's, of course, it's shown in, you know, the couple of preseason games, just that calm demeanor that's uh, felt like it's kind of calmed our group down and, you know, still a vocal guy. And, and uh, um, yeah, he's been such a boost to you know, our locker room and it's shown already. And, uh, uh, now excited to go to battle with them, you know, every day for the regular season. Brady, what do you think it says about the city? It took not long to convince the team to, to keep him here for quite some time. Yeah. Well, it's you know, like I said from day one, it's very welcoming, and, and they made me feel like I was a part of the city right from you know day one of my rookie season. And um, it's just, it's a great place to play. It's a great fan base, and um, you know, there's been so much excitement uh, kind of coming into the season. So to kind of cap it off, um, you know, let's just call it the, the off season. Now it's you know, real business starts tomorrow. Well, I think, uh, you know, the Vesna kind of speaks for itself um, when it comes to that. But uh, um, his calm demeanor is, I mean, the, the thing that stands out the most. And, um, you know, what he's kind of learned on past teams, the leadership that's been on, the, you know, those previous teams. And, and uh, you know, he's already brought it, you know, not just on the ice, but off the ice as well. So, um, you know, for me, it's just be able to learn from him and, and be a sponge. And from his experiences and his career, is just going to be, uh, you know, huge for me individually as well. The signing just add to the level of excitement that grows for tomorrow night? I think it's just going to you know, add to an, a, a great experience, a great atmosphere, and uh, uh, whenever you, you also have the defending cup champs coming building for your first game, it's uh, it's going to be you know, a huge test for us and, and uh, um, something that we can kind of measure up to. And, and uh, so, yeah, no, there's been a lot of great vibes, you know, great things happening uh, you know, coming to the season, and uh, you know, that signing to cap it off is definitely going to be great uh, going into tomorrow. I mean, if, uh, you know, being up close and, and uh, personal to it, you just kind of have a lot of respect for you know what they went through, and, and uh, you know, it's it's every year you kind of think of you know the defending cup champs, you know. That's your dream too. So it's like you want to you want to kind of take out the top and and um, you want to be at the top at the end of the year. So I think for me it's 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 going to be all business tomorrow and, and uh, um, no these are it doesn't matter if it's game one, game fifty, game eighty two. They're all big. So um, just want to get off to a great start as a group tomorrow. But uh, um, that'll be a good experience. Every year, obviously, you're doing your best to win and make the playoffs. This offseason, the, the team added some veterans who, have, who know what it takes to, to win a Stanley Cup or go on those long runs, and then you added the trade for Linus. Just curious, with those additions around the, that young core, including yourself, how does that ramp up the expectations set in this room to, to obviously try to win and make the playoffs? I don't know if it ramps up you know, the expectations of we need to be in a set spot, but it raises the standard for sure. Um, it's you know we, we have standards that you know now are non-negotiable and, and a lot of it's come from those experience of Stanley Cup and what it takes to win and, and you know as a group that uh, you know we haven't won you know in the last couple of years and and there's just this change of attitude mindset that uh, that we have coming to this year that I think it's it comes from those guys that you know we brought in how Steve did a great job bringing in, in the right pieces and and uh, I think it's just gonna collectively, you know, individually grow and, and uh, each, you know, the standards just kind of keep getting set and keep getting raised. What's a tangible example of the standard changing in the room with these new guys? Well, it's, it's I mean, I think the, the most important is the mindset, the mindset that we have and, and not looking too far ahead and, and trying to, you know, count wins out of, you know, 10, 15, 20 games, how many games or how many times we need to win to, you know, stay in the fight. I think it's just each and every day, it's kind of cliche, but when you like think about it, it's just it's win each day, and that's you know it doesn't even have to be at the rank and improving at the rank uh, in the gym. It could be at home too with your family and, and have that mindset. It's it just you grow as an individual, and that just if if everybody and, and that's what's been happening this preseason, everybody's been having that mindset that 
Um, it's growing the group as well. So how close to the game, Florida dominated Boston last night. What's going to be their biggest you know, strength against uh, to play against them Thursday? I mean, they're top to bottom, you know, great team. Um, I mean, they just play so hard. They play so um, collectively. It's always a five-man unit, uh, you know, D zone, O zone. So just going to have to get numbers, you know, defensively, you know, try to limit their chances and, and uh um, yeah, it's going to be a great test for us, but I think this group is excited to get back in front of this fan base tomorrow night. What's your pitch for this season? Why should people spend their hard-earned money to come watch you guys play this year? If they want to be kind of along the along the ride, then I think they should come day one and, and be a part of it. So, um, I mean, it's the reason why we play is for this fans and, and for the community, and, and uh, you know they're every much as important as you know to this team as you know the guys are on the ice. So. Um, just want them to know that uh, it'll be a fun ride this year and just, um, yeah, just have to come and watch and uh, see it for themselves. Uh, from an organizational standpoint, I think it's, uh, you know, you get a goalie locked in for four years. That's an elite goalie. Everything we've, we've seen from him, so the way he is off the ice, his character, uh, I think it's a great, great deal for Linus, great deal for Steve and the organization and from a coach, happy that it's done now. Get a tangible feeling of confidence, uh, confidence boost in the locker room. There certainly seemed to be a stronger level of uh, excitement in the locker room. Yeah, guys are excited to play. Uh, you know, they're, uh, when a guy signs a contract, uh, it's a little different from a player's standpoint. They're happy for him. Uh, also, know, you know, the guys that know they're here for a while know that they have a, a really good goalie uh, in the net. So. Uh, but I thought the guys were focused today in practice and had a good skate today. They're excited to play tomorrow. Coach, what does it signal to the, the city here that the uh, team's able to lock down the new goalie pretty quick? He's, he's only lived here for a few weeks. Well, it was important for Linus that uh, uh, he enjoyed, he wanted to play where he enjoyed living. And uh, it says a lot about Ottawa that, uh, you know, he wants to stay here. I, I think... We want Ottawa to be a destination place for players. Uh, I know I've personally really enjoyed everything about Ottawa so far, and uh, it's a great place to be. And the fact that he's committed is, uh, you know, is a credit to the city too. All right. I'll keep going. I got one more. Sorry, guys. Uh, expectations for the season, just generally. Well, obviously, our goal is to make the playoffs. Uh, you know, you don't make the playoffs. Tomorrow, uh, our expectations are to be better than we were last year. Uh, commit to the daily process. Uh, again, continue to grow as players. And uh, but that's our goal. It's it's not complicated. <clears throat> talked about when he came here trying to be a leader. What have you seen? You know, with the past couple of weeks from him as a leader, and what, yeah. how does that? How does a goaltender bring? You yeah, it's a little bit different with a goalie how they lead, but. Uh, and being a new player is also different too. So throughout that combination, it's early still, but I have no doubt in my mind that Linus is going to be uh, a leader within our room. Uh, he's a very smart individual, uh, reads the game really well, understands the game, understands the penalty of D-zone coverage. Uh, he's calm, uh, mature, and uh, I think he's, he's going to be a great presence, not only on the ice, but off the ice for our group. This team's been trying to make the playoffs, obviously. Uh, they've had the drought since 2017. And I've heard. Obviously, with the all-mark signing, plus uh, some of the new additions they've made yeah. this offseason, there's obviously been a lot of hype. How do you manage those expectations and that pressure that's, that's going to be put on you to obviously take this team to the playoffs? Yeah, I don't look like at it like it's pressure. Uh, we're in the business of winning. Uh, for me, it's, it's all about winning. That's not pressure. That's what's that's expected. We're, we're not. Hey, let's just have a nice season here, and we're like we want to win. And uh, I don't even the way we're coaching our group. We don't have to talk about that. Like, you know, the goal. They know the goal is to make the playoffs. They know the goal is to be great every day and push yourself every day to be your best. And if you do that, you're going to be in a good spot. Uh, I don't need to talk about next week. I don't need to talk about April. We're going to talk about tomorrow and bringing our best. And we want to do that every day. And if we do that, we're going to be in a good spot.
Not counting the Global Series games, but just watching the puck drop last night in the first couple of games of the season, you know, did you get feelings of excitement and butterflies given that now you're a day away? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I think everyone feels that way. Once you get through training camp, whether you're a coach or a player, uh, you're, by the time the camp ends, you're ready to go and you're excited. Uh, there's a vibe. You can, you can feel it. You can feel it with our group. Uh, you know, we're also hockey fans. Uh, we enjoy. I enjoy watching the games. You can see, every game had a little bit of a different feel to it. I think just watching last night, and and I think you'll see that throughout the opening week here. And, and regular season hockey is different than exhibition hockey. You can see that it's there's a jump in intensity, the speed of the game, uh, and you're also going to see it in another five to ten games. It's going to get cleaner, and the games are going to get cleaner, and uh, the teams that can start, you know early with their execution, their game plan, usually get out to a, a better start. <clears throat> this is a little um, unrelated to your games, but um, history was made with Jessica Campbell on the bench. What's yeah. your reaction to seeing a female? Awesome. Yeah, great to see. Um, you know, it's it's this day and age, uh, there's been a lot of talk about women being involved in sports, hockey in general, and I think it's been, uh, it's a great sign for the NHL.